And the young, talented freshman. I do think they've got to get better offensively. He's struggling to score as he should, but if he can get himself going defensively, the offense will come. And Cooper's and one off the window. He caused a strip, and I think that got him a little comfortable, and now you see he goes and gets himself an old-fashioned three-point play. Shackleford, the open three. Four, weak side, and here comes Cooper with the push to the left side and in. Cooper directing traffic, trying to wrap it. Second chance, got it. Thing I like about Bruner, he just kind of is calm. You know, you can tell he's an older guy. That was some serious elevation. Cooper able to split the double on the oop of his own. In Primo's hand every time they're in half court. Here we go. Here is Cooper to the left, into the lane, count it! On the rim. Watch Cooper's chin as he plays through contact here. See how he keeps his chin up? Here's the difference. Look at, you can see the back of his head go up in the biggest rivalry, and Primo looks like he's 28 years old playing. He has been solid so far. Oh, the reason I said earlier, possession, bad shot, take a forced one, is what you just saw. Reese hits the shot. Look at this. There's no reason. Not continue what has been their best SEC start in 34 years. 3-0 and alone atop the standings. And Cooper one hands it up. Is do right. He just does right in a basketball game. He's got a couple of triples now. And a couple of digits. How about this? You get a big on it. Bruner's trying too much. Now look, if Cooper's going to beat you with this, then so be it. I mean, that's good defense. Nothing you can do. All right. Trinity Bruner, no. And finally, Auburn clears. Here comes Cooper. On the break and the lead. And with his finger. Feels good to lay out. Let a crowd go. Look at that lob from the freshman to Cambridge. And you said it with his fingertip. They're on their feet at Auburn Arena. Great possession. Cooper with the takeaway. And the lead. 16 points, six rebounds for Bruner. Cooper, the hesitation, finds four. Of freshmen coming up huge, Dan. Oh, watch how he has it. See how he hesitated right there. And when the defense raises up, he explodes. And four right there. Oh man, Cooper has terrific eye for Sharif Cooper, the five star. Alan Flanagan in a more natural position instead of having to run the point. JT Thor oh, at the carnival. Tigers lead it eight to four. Cooper attacking off glass count in his first. Kamara inside on the look from Johnson. Can't finish. Kamara would be better off using some ball fakes. Get defenders up off the floor. Here's with the three balls and with the transition buckets at times. Uh, they're, they're a fun team to watch. And, you know, the wins haven't really followed yet this year. The expectation, if you will, of Sharif Cooper in transition has great court vision. I talked about that in the open first to Williams and then on the last play, Cambridge is the reset. Talking about the tournament, which we believe is going to take place this year, and it's a big deal to pick up those quad one wins. Well, think about this. You, the committee is still going to end block, but Garcia stayed with the play, created the loose ball and then Johnson was able to finish. Again, Cooper finding a big. Take another look at Cooper and his great vision. He threw one of these passes to JT Thor. Ask me again. Flanagan benefits Cooper, right? Oh, there's no question. Cooper is the guy that, and I talked about this in the open, he is the piece of the puzzle that makes all the other. I think that's a bit of a work in progress. Five on the shot clock for Cooper. There he goes, inside off black. Well, every Georgia run 
that we've seen this evening has been matched by Auburn. The bounce pass. Cardwell attacking. This play doesn't get in a hurry. Reads the defense off the second ball screen. Little fake. And Georgia changes the way you play totally. And for Auburn, remember this, it wasn't just Okoro. Auburn lost four double. Yeah, I think this is the most offensive group of teams that in the SEC that I've seen in a long time. But, Roy, I want to go back to that Alabama. Up there. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Not only a tall team, Roy, but a bouncy team. Yeah. Case in point, Cambridge. This season? I mean, he may have one in him tonight by the time it's all said and done. <laughs> Attacking. How about that move, the finger roll? How much different would this team look right now? Well, again, I, I, we're seeing some of it on display here tonight, the artistry. You've got to find offense. Johnson, a strong finish. Give him 12. The head. And the Both sides well, telling us how emotional they got and just finding out the news. Go ahead. And it's almost like that bad second half has spilled over into this game. And I would agree. 25. Learn to play with the old veterans and the young, talented freshmen. I do think they've got to get better offensively. Oh, what a. We talk about the vision, the spin move, the off dribble, the off hand. Just move without the ball. If you're going to play, how fun would it be to play with Sharif? The ball would pick up a foul. I'm sorry, he goes to the bench, pick from behind. Cambridge, Cooper, alley -oop. That's what he does. And they're not sure if they called it on Toppin, but his reaction indicates so. Here's the alley -oop. Yeah, Cooper is. The, the ball is electric in terms of in and out of his hands. That's a slow motion replay. Uh, you watch this guy play live, Rabby. And they were to switch with Brooks. Different guys and different coverages on two and white. Four, grab it in traffic. Three, jerseys around him. And what a look. Too deep, good defense, and it's denied. Good luck. Is in the top five in both adjusted offensive efficiency and adjusted defensive efficiency. Both top five. Keep you on the side. Similar to the, the the ice action that Auburn does on those side ball screens, they do the entire game. Cooper was so deep, he would oh, miss that up, missed it. Two blue shirts go after it. Flanagan battled him. We got a two on one. That's just a great left-handed pass. And on the other end, and we'll see if Kentucky can capitalize on it. Cooper to the hole, great jump off and an easy flush. Real driving it into a no play part of the floor. And there's what I'm talking about by Cooper, man. He, he knew from the time right there, he knows where he's going with the ball. He says, when am I going to have a little bit of an opening to get it there and continue to come back and fight? And now it's a one-possession game. Cooper Rally, you oh, good. Good. What a pass. Game, 45 seconds to play. Brooks hedges on Cooper. He goes to the rack, lays it up and in. Sharif Cooper. Type strong ball guard going to the rim, but... Bruce Pearl feeds his guys with so much confidence as a shooter, Beth. The only thing he's against is early. Gets into the paint. Cannot knock it down. Just never has been a score, seven words. That added a good clip, and you have to be a tough, physical defender at your spot. He's not there on the two. I work on his game? Yes. I, I, I say yes because I think, look at the vision, man. Nightly on film that Bruce Pearl talks about. And he understands winning plays. Against LSU was amazing. All threes and layups. Cooper going to have a chance from deep. And he'll not. Patients I have with people like, you know, my, my friends Doris Burke and, and Jessica Mendoza and, and you know, Holly Rowe. You think, you think Anthony Gordon said that to Kobe? You know, Dane's son did this the other day. High speed. Ooh, and that's from two. Conzo Martin has taken Xavier Pinson out of the game. No field goals yet for the Tigers, one free. He's certainly fast enough, and as he learns to get himself in the right position defensively. Mitchell Smith, the senior from Arkansas, drills the first field goal for Missouri. Wow, on the base. But again, another sensational law. Penetration kills. I mean, and if you can't stop the... 
Cooper attacking. Excellent feed. He's so good. You just can't keep him out of the lane. And it's too tempting to come over and help. But if you're Wilmore 32, you can't come help deep. But with the two-point advantage. Now Cooper breaking down. Pinson. Step back. A staple of Bruce Pearl's offense. Easy offensive foul call. A freshman from down the road in Powder Springs, Georgia. With seven points, make it nine. Five. Send you 94 feet, had the speed. And I just love seeing some of these smaller guards be the best player on the court. And there he is with the fifth. Rebound to Williams. Cooper. Lob it up. Cambridge. The defender from Missouri knows it's coming. He's like, do I stop the ball? Do I stop the oop? And Cooper's like, I'm not going to throw it until you come at me. And when you get an athlete like Cambridge, where you can throw it late, and he's still going to get it with ease. Everything seems to be aligning right now for the Tigers at this point in the season. A lot of momentum. And with a three-point. The Wizard. 17 and counting. Well, what Coach Pearl tell us? They said he's kind of like a quarterback. We just try to block and give him space to go make a play. And that's what they do. Get Cooper in a position to be successful. Let him go. Sights on the end zone. Rolls through. One of the things oh, I like about really good looking is shot. John, his passing is way more dangerous. Even though he's averaging 22, it's a high volume set of shooting. Goes to the goal. Put first team All American and. If this team wasn't so balanced, you'd certainly put him in the mix for player of the year. Along Point with scorers on this roster. A lot of upperclassmen for the Rebels. Thor. A lot of coaches will give guaranteed money, different value for the first round picks. We'll see if he can play his way into that spot. But that's, he can't have any of those reps. So for him to drop in in that first game against Alabama, and mind you, I know Alabama lost today, but Alabama's legit. Get 26 points, 9 rebounds. I mean, on assists. And if he can do that, where he just made the three right there more consistently, that drives his draft stock up. Because he had, you saw his shot kind of leans back. He's already small, under six feet tall. Leans back, kind of a set shot flat. The NBA level, for a guy his size, he's got to make shots. And he's got to become just bigger and stronger physically. But again, when he was waiting. Cooper on the quick counter and one. He knew it right away. Crespin was in the, in the bleachers. So he takes it all the way down. Nobody stops him. He's able to get all the way down Broadway. And well, now he's back out there with his guys. They are not at full strength, by the yeah. way. Hadim C is unavailable today. And have to find a way to limit Sharif Cooper, which at this point, they haven't done that yet, though. And this time sliding over to see if he got there in time. Yep, that's the right call. Good recognition again from a freshman. He's his guy. Gonzaga had a battle the other night against Pacific. Um, heads up. Great Six point Auburn lead here. Home stretch of this first half. Shuler tried to beat the shot clock buzzer. Cooper. Oh, boy. Long bounce pass. <laughs> the fact that it was. When he gets stronger, that'll be a one bounce that can skip one time and come flying off the ground. He isn't quite there. It, do, it, it took two hops. In that to get. first half for Auburn, the only guy who found himself in some trouble. <laughs> what a look. The quick counter, Cooper. The ball back up. You got to sprint back, especially when Cooper's on the other team. Gets in the paint, drops it off. Thor has it. They got numbers, four and five. Oh. oh, terrific no look from Cooper. Cooper. Cooper gives it up for Thor, trying to tie it. No, back out to Sharif. Another chance to tie, and that one goes. Auburn stormed back. They went on a 12-0 run, took the lead. Vanderbilt fought back late in the first right. half. That's it. But still, that was a shot, though, right? That Take was it. A shot. He's been rolling tonight too. Cooper, how about that? Oh, well, it looks like he got hit before Put recruiting classes together. See on your screen, a really good game coming up at four Eastern on ESPN two, Arkansas and Missouri. That's number four on Scotty. Yeah, we talked about these two point guards and. Good Inside, luck. all alone, and Cambridge couldn't finish it. 
So a slow out of the gates for both of these teams. Staying on that offensive glass. You know, he's been really playing well with the rebounding. Clear it for Flanagan. Yeah, Co yeah, Cooper will get it back, obviously, around 10 seconds and under. Cooper against Toppin. Penetrates, fades, and hits. Sets. In and out. Rebound. Cardwell. Cooper on the dribble. Trevor leads it with a minute 24 to go in this first half. High screen, knocking Bola. Jump shot. No, no. Rejected <laughs> the power of Thor. Very nice. <laughs> Kentucky has never led. All of a sudden, they're dragging the ball to the middle of the floor, driving it to the ball, and then kicking it out. Much easier way to shoot the basketball. Well, I want to see him get in more screening action. If they're going to switch him, get see certain switches, and they've got to be able to take advantage of different mismatches when they get him. And that's what Bruce Pearl talked to us a lot about yesterday is when they're going he gets into Gaines' body and skips through there. Yeah, kind of went through, took another dribble, and kind of got away with what... And it falls home for Trent and Watford. Problem for Auburn right now is you got to be able to, to guard your yard and, and be able to keep the ball contained. And right now, oh, man, Sharif Cooper shows you how explosive he is. A little reverse kiss, great control. But on the other end, Auburn... Rated draft prospect. A's across the board. That looks like... Dallin's report card. Oh man, I win. Next level. You see how his shot's kind of flat, not much elevation in it, very low release point. He's got to be able to make freeze consistently at the next level. And Andre Hyde gets rejected. Chance for Auburn to close the gap here. Cooper on the spread out. Go into the post. It's not necessarily what he wants to do. Cooper the other way. Teardrop, no. And in a Rebounded by Dylan Cardwell. Devin Cambridge picked up his third foul that last trip down for Auburn. Chance for the Tigers. That was against Texas A&M. Hit five threes in that game. Cooper down the paint. Oh, he's good. Here's Cooper. In traffic again. And finishing again for Sharif Cooper. He's got a great ability to hang and hit. You're going to block his shot. You almost need to jump. And laugh. Blocking the tournament, but when I look across the country, you see Cooper get the split right down the lane and finish 